Hi, my name is Clint, and I am a part of a software development company for a dedicated uh, industry. So it's a SaaS, vertical SaaS software, and I oversee all of our revenue and sales. In terms of GoToMeeting, I would rate GoToMeeting on a scale of one to five, five being the best. I'd rate GoToMeeting at a three. Before using GoToMeeting, uh, my company was using join.me. And some of the issues that we were finding is we were getting uh, drop calls. Now and then it seemed like there was a little bit too much clutter that our company, this, the, the level of our volume was uh, proposing or creating for uh, join.me. And so, which our meetings in Zoom with our prospects are our revenue. It's incredibly valuable. So it was a critical issue that we had to take care of. We chose go to meeting because of the simplicity it provided. It was very easy to use and understand for all of our users. So there was little training really necessary. It was almost plug and play. We found also that the price was, was very fair. Uh, in fact, we found it to, to be almost uh, cheaper, uh, cheaper than most of its comparables in the industry. And finally, and the big one was that it, it hit and, and, and achieved what we needed, which was our critical issue, which was it, uh, it hosted, um, it was able to keep up with the volume uh, that we provided. Uh, ultimately, what we found out was that GoToMeeting used lesser bandwidth than did join me, and that allowed more individuals or more individual IP users to be on uh, the network, if you will, with our licensing without uh, putting too much strain, and thus we had no more issues when using GoToMeeting. Getting started and implementing GoToMeeting was an experience that my team uh, was pleasantly surprised uh, overall. Um, we had a dedicated individual that we would be able to speak to whenever we had questions and that would actually walk us through personalized training. Uh, even when we didn't request it, they, they came to us saying, we're gonna go through several personalized meetings together and you're gonna have this individual to work through throughout the entire time to, to build that business relationship with. So whereas some of the other um, softwares that we looked at, most of the training involved videos and here, you know, watch these videos, so disperse these out to your team and then you know, we'll see on the other end. It felt like there was more of a personal touch and walk through with the GoToMeeting team, which we were really appreciative of. And that allowed us to have questions asked and answered uh, very quickly. Um, it addressed questions that we didn't even have to ask because we were already there with somebody live uh, during our scheduled sessions throughout the, uh, the time frame. And uh, the time to implement was a lot less than what we had previously. So we thought we were moving up to a much more robust system. Implementation is going to be more complex, but that was not the case with GoToMeeting. If you're in the market looking for software like GoToMeeting, uh, and you're looking at some of its competitors. Uh, something to, to look at overall is um, what kind of volume you're going to bring and use. Um, some of the other competitors um, that are very popular right now, uh, I've mentioned one here on this, uh, in, my, in my review, but there's others that use large amounts of bandwidth. And so if you're bringing a lot of volume on your sales team or your, uh, your customer or your, uh, your staff base, then that can pose a risk. So that's something to look into and ask. And I learned that the hard way. I uh, didn't think that was something that I needed to be worried about. I was really looking at features to begin with, um, but that posed a critical and even a costly issue until we got it fixed. So that'd be something I'd really highly recommend. Um, and then lastly, um, I'd also um, recommend not, not to get swayed by all the, the fun and cool integrations that exist out there with some of the other popular uh, software, uh, web uh, conference softwares. Um, we tested one of those before we thought those were really neat, but then found that we almost used none of them ultimately. And so really what you want to stay uh, focused on are the, the table stakes of really what you need. So be very clear on that. And then um, that way you can stack the, your, your, your uh, functionality and your price up to what you really need.